You are a lifesaver. It's a tuna Powerball. Diet, day one. I started day one, I worked out. Today's day one. What is in the uh, collection so far? In my collection, I have a right wing depth timer, blue strap. Blue strap, okay. Uh, blue dial, I think the dial is like you know, a multicolor dial. I but have blue, a, but blue's there. Blue's there. I've got the uh, Rolex seat bar. SC43 black, That's okay. Right. I've got an Omega Speedmaster. What colors are associated in it? Black and white. Black, black dial, and white. white details. Okay. Are you a two so toner goal? Is, I never. Maybe. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm curious. Okay. Okay. I'm curious. On the uh, budget. I came Hold in back. here. I started at ten. But, okay. Can you grab that? Can you stretch okay. it? Yeah, I can go. I want to keep you in Rolex. Okay. Buy something that say you don't want to keep it. Six months from now, you decide you don't want it, you will make money on it. The ones I'm gonna pick. Uh, let's see this one. You already have the SD43. Definitely want some color in here. So the ones that I've chosen, a couple GMTs and a couple subs. So everybody have the seed dweller. Everybody got the seed dweller. All these have, I love this. All I, these I have a little these. bit of color in them. Yeah. This has got two tones, so you want to dress your watch. It's also a good casual. This is a t-shirt and jeans watch. It's also a nighttime watch if you want to have flashy. Uh, the Kermit or the Starbucks. It's the new re the new rendition of the Hulk. They discontinued the Hulk this past year. Came out with this. Uh, if you like green, green and black. Now. So the Hulk was the green and green. All green. green yes. Style, yeah. Yes. All green. Uh, the other two, both Pepsi's Jubilee. This is the brand new Oyster. So this is stainless steel. Now. This is, of these, this is my favorite because until it, they discontinued the Pepsi, I don't, I'm not gonna try to pretend I know the year, I don't know. They discontinued the Pepsi a while back. They reintroduced it in 2019 on the Jubilee bracelet. Crazy popular. Well, in 2020, September 2020 with the new releases, they introduced this one. This is the only time they've ever done a stainless steel Pepsi, or that since they discontinued it on, a, on an Oyster bracelet. Crazy high premium, but it's gonna stay like that because it's it's essentially like the Daytona right now. And then the other option is either the Pepsi or the Batman on Jubilee. First question, yeah. which one is your eye immediately drawn to? Okay, now go ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of do a little process of elimination here. Okay. So I used to appreciate gold. Okay. You know what I mean? Yep. Over the years, I started to less appreciate it. So I don't know about wearing gold anymore. Okay. So to me, it's Pull not it that out. it's gaudy. Pull it out. Some people like it. You know, I love it. I like <laughs> this a lot. I like if this was not here, this would be my first choice. Okay. So I'm gonna put that over there. Put that right here. Jubilee. I've never really been crazy about the. It just attracts too much attention. See, I love Jubilee for that reason. But before they started putting it on sport models, the only thing you can get it on is a Datejust, and Datejust don't really do much for me. I've had a few, but I've just I've I've grown past them. I, I will I've had a Datejust in my collection. And I never wore it. I love the Jubilee bracelet, so I got the Batman on it. I have that watch. I love I love I love the Jubilee on something that's more of an up. Like if right. Going out to dinner. But this, like, I can't marry the Sky sport Dweller. And Jubilee. I love it on the Sky Dweller, but I can't justify the price point of a Sky Dweller yet. I, I can't justify it. Not thirty-eight thousand. Yeah, but here's the thing. I already have this on my on my seat wallet. Okay. And it's very similar to the Omega. Actually, this is a different strap than I have. This is not the same Omega I have. This is what year is this? This is brand new. It's the new Sapphire sandwich. My my strap is more similar to this. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. So now I'm gonna get a third one. If I'm gonna go with this, it's gonna be a third one with that. You're paying full market value. It's twenty-five thousand. Nobody has one yet. So if you're one of those guys that pay, that will pay more to have the first one, that's what that is. That's what this. What is, is this going for? This is twenty two thousand five hundred, fully stickered, barcode sticker. It is in April twenty twenty one. And this is this is that's brand new. That's May well? May twenty twenty one. And yeah. they're both brand new. They're both brand new. Yes. This one's fully stickered. This one is just the first one we've seen. 
that's where my eye is right now. What's to be said about getting a Model S 2019 versus the Model? The money war aside. The warranty. Money aside. The warranty. If, if this were a 2019, and this, I have another Pepsi over there. Let's just say one's 2019, one's 2021. You have two more years of warranty on the 2021. Oh, it's a five-year warranty from the date on the card. But that that's doesn't the only account, difference. That doesn't but account for the premium. Do what? This. That doesn't account for the premium. The premium no, on the, this is the premium on these. So the premium on this one is because it's a Jubilee. It retails 9,800, but it trades for 10,000 over, 10,000 plus over, because you just can't get them. The Batman's at like 18,000 right now. Same thing. But the Pepsi bezel, long term, has been more popular than the. Well, the Batman they just came out with in 2009. So before 2009, you couldn't get a black and blue bezel. They have vintage Pepsis, and Marco actually has one over there that's like 80 something thousand because of the, the year. It's a transitional model. I'm not going to pretend I know all this stuff. He knows it all. But Pepsis are the longest running GMT for the colored bezels, and this is the one long term that people already it's already been proven that they go for this sounds like it has more long-term market appreciability than this one this given one's given i can't tell you what the future holds but given history yes and Knowing what and then know. right now this is just a brand new one so I, I i'll i will tell you there's no difference in these two except the bracelet and this one is absolutely brand new i'm taking it take it take it All thank right. you cool bitcoin bitcoin somebody lost their phone and they just pinged it so we're going to sell it back to them What's up, man? Uh, iPhone 10 is what are we? What are iPhone 10s right now? 750. I'll do 650. Point right now. I do. Yeah, 650. It's all yours. Brand new. It's it's, it's been used. He probably needs a light polish. <laughs> do what? No, he's just buying this new white iPhone. Lightly scratched. We can we can can we polish that out, Marco? We can polish that, right? All right, right. six fifty. Five five fifty. <laughs> the uh, the Milgaus is uh, two thousand twenty, like new, uh, twelve five. Okay. Yeah. Is that one new? It's like new. It was it was worn very very sparingly. I mean, it, I can tell it's been worn, but it, it doesn't have a lot of scratches or anything on it. So, brand new, it's a thousand dollars more. Like true brand new is a thousand dollars more. Dude said you might want to go for a grand. Do what? Dude back there said you might want to go for a grand. For a grand? No. I might take it for a grand. I would not, absolutely not sell it for a grand. I, don't really know. I would buy, I would buy a hundred more for, I'd buy a thousand more for that price. Yeah. Is it twelve fifty? Twelve five, yes. Plus whatever tax, either Miami tax or if you live somewhere else, you want me to ship it to it. I can, whatever sales tax is there. So the website's on your card, right? Yes. Uh, did you get my card already? I got it. You did? Okay, cool. Thank you. Bye, right, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just trying. The timepiece gentleman. Huh? The timepiece gentleman. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't do both sides. I always do that. It's like, it's on this, and then I'm like, oh. So go to YouTube, subscribe to our channel. Yeah. You can follow our Day in the Life series. But yeah, the best way to learn, besides you know YouTube, would be like going on watch forums, and then just reading about the brands. Okay. Like, are you are you mostly interested in like Rolex? Just in general. Sorry. Just in general. General, just watches in general. Yeah, learning about the different brands. Because I know there's a lot more. Than yeah. Just Rolexes. Well, no, of course, but like, for example, like if you want to learn about watches, the best way to do it is pick a brand and then branch out. Because the way you'll teach yourself to learn about one brand, yeah. you can apply it to then all the brands. So it's like good to focus, carry some weight on some knowledge, yeah. on like say, I don't know, if you like Omegas, start with the history and then come forward to the present. And you just read about the, you know, the different models, what inspired those models, what goes behind the watch making. Yeah. And then you'll start to more understand why this industry as a whole is so is so popular. So that's kind of like the best advice I could give you. What would you say your favorite brand is? My favorite brand? Definitely, for me, it's Rolex. But I'm, I'm mostly interested in the vintage Rolex. Pricing for our, for ceramic date subs, it starts at 12.5, goes up to 14 for a 40 millimeter. 
For a 41 millimeter, you're looking at 15 to 15, 250 brand new starting out. Um, colored dials like the Starbucks, 20,500 brand new. Uh, Two-tone blue subs, which I have here, 14.5 for uh, 40 millimeter. 41 millimeter start at 16.5. Okay. okay. So. And as far as the dress watches, like, uh, I don't see any day dates, uh, but I saw like, the date just there. The only data I have is the rose gold baguette dial. That's 55 brand new. Um, but I mean, just in general, 36 millimeter prezes start at like 15,000 and go up. For a 36, old style, new style, they're high, low 20, or I'm sorry, low 30s, high 20s to low 30s. 40 millimeters, they're mid to high 30s, yellow gold. Okay, um, and anything from like uh, early 90s to early 2000s? In a presidential, or uh, just anything in general? In general. Anything in general, like a Submariner uh, with papers, you're looking at about 10, around 10. What's the budget? Uh, it's honestly it depends on the watch. Like, uh, yeah. like for a president, I'm, I'm willing to pay a bit more because like the materials are like, the right. Uh, well, for a president, a good a good one with a good strong with a strong band, you're looking around 16. A sub again, a sub, good condition with papers, you're looking around 10. Okay. Pre ceramic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then as far as permits go, like pre ceramic permits. Pre ceramic permits, uh, as long as it's not a flat four, you can pick up anywhere around 16, 17. Flat fours with papers, 25. Yeah. I mean, I just sold one yesterday for 25 with papers. Yeah. But that was a flat four, so it's special. Uh, a regular Kermit with papers is in the high teens. I'm very pro Rolex, so I, I, I do that because I don't want you to buy a watch for your first one that's going to lose money. I'd rather you buy something I know is going to go up in value or it's going to at least hold its value. Rolex is king for that, especially for a first watch. Unless you've just got like no budget, then I would tell you go all the way up to a Paddock or a Richard Mill. But, yeah, yeah. but for a first one, get an entry level Rolex. Okay. Datejust, Cellini. Well, not the Cellini, but yeah. I, don't, I like smaller watches. So like okay. The, yeah. I can't. I can't rock uh, something that's forty millimeter plus. Really? Yeah, okay. I feel like it's too big. Okay. Uh, the older subs are they still forty or are they like? They are still a 40, but they've got slimmer lugs, so they, they wear they wear smaller. Yeah. They don't wear like the new 40s with a maxi case. Yeah, okay. And, yeah, and I also like it to be like shorter on the wrist. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, it, you can get a pre-ceramic date sub, throw on a leather strap, throw it on an aftermarket strap or something to give it that dressy appeal, or put the bracelet back on if it's 40. Okay. Yeah. So very versatile. We do. Yes, I do. I've done six watches already with Bitcoin. Wow, no. that's pretty good. Yeah, you guys probably make more sales than the other ones here. Like, we're doing all right. Sales. We have a more. I mean, we're the only. We're, there's only one other watch guy here, and his stuff's badass. Don't get me wrong, but it's nobody's. Nobody's here to spend a million dollars on a watch. Yeah, exactly. But even like, beyond that, like, even the tech companies here selling stuff, you guys are probably close more sales. Oh, them, really? Which is kind of ironic. Yeah. <laughs> That's about brand. We didn't even care if we sold anything. We just wanted to come to, I want to, I came because I want to learn about Bitcoin. And now look at me. Yeah. Two days ago, I didn't take Bitcoin. Now I've got three, oh, three yeah. yeah. Oh, now so I've cool. got 300 grand in Bitcoin. <laughs> so I hope that by the time we get back home, it, it spikes over 40. That'll yeah. be a really good day. No, 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 but we just started accepting Bitcoin. I, yeah. my, my main thing is wire transfer. I don't do credit cards, but those are the new. They're not the actual Stellas. They're the new ones. Oh, okay. Ten to fifteen. You could even do two tone. This is twelve. I, I've been looking at this because that's kind of like the era that I was. So born. this is what you're looking at right here, yeah. for subs. Yeah. These two are the same reference number, or? Yeah, they're well. These are six, uh, sixteen, six, ten. This is sixteen, seven, one, three. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's a GMT though. Yeah. Okay. Two tone GMT, but pre ceramic. Uh, no holes case, holes case, no holes. So this will be newer. Holes case, no holes case. But that'll give you an idea of what in between the 10 to 15 range for subs. Okay, perfect. And then as far as the date just. 
So I don't have any. I do, but it's out of your budget because it's rose gold Wimbledon dial. That's fourteen five. I don't have any date just any thirty six millimeter date just. I have. Do you see them uh, a little bit simpler than that? Like I mean, the, there's an Explorer. That's a 30, 34 millimeter. Yeah. It came through. It, it came through. You're good. Do you mind if I? Uh, you mind if I hand him his watch real quick? We're just we're talking. I'm educating him. Blockchain transaction is complete. It is. Bitcoin came through, so another sell in the books. Completely settled transaction. Took about 12 minutes, actually. Amazing. Yeah. So those Man, I love these things being taped up, but God, they're a lot of work. They're really wrap it up. Yeah, don't want anybody to scratch it. So who wraps it? Either Marco or Alfred. I can adjust that a little. It's a little loose. Marco, you have your screwdrivers? Here, I'll size it for you. Put it back on. Let me see how loose it is. I'll get you one. I said I'll get you one. I've got extras. How many? Um, actually, I mean, I'll just I'll buy you one. I'll, I'll, I, I buy them at fifty percent off for Wolf. Yeah, I'm a I'm a Wolf distributor. So if you'll just if you'll send me a picture, how many watches do you have? Four. Bought three of them on the winders now, and I've got three on individual winders. Yeah. Did no, they all? No, so three units. Uh, oh, uh, three piece. Okay. It's like, um, it's like um, Mahogany, kind of finish. I'll take a picture and send it. Okay. How do I communicate with you? Uh, I'll give you my, get my cell phone number. All right, I'll give you my card also, but get my personal. Get card. Get, okay, get my personal cell. It's on your card? Yeah. It's called what? Uh, the Deus, the Brightling Deus. It, it's part of the Top Time, uh, but this is a special edition. It's cool. Yeah, they made about 1,500 pieces. Looks like you're into watches. You know I, quite a bit. I, I love watches. Awesome. Is that your favorite? Um, uh, is that your favorite brand? Um, it's my favorite timepiece right now. That one? Do you have other pieces? I like chronographs. Um, orange is my favorite color. So you know, panda dial, sparkles. Do you have um, Do you have other pieces as well? I do. What I do, do you have? Uh, I have a Rolex Pepsi dial. Nice. Yeah. Um, 1961. Oh. And I have. Um, All my vintage pieces are over there. Over there. If, if you go, if you want to see some vintage Rolex, you see where that picture is. It's right below, yeah. You'll see my watches. Those are my personal pieces. Yeah. No. You guys are from Dallas, right? Yeah, very cool. I'll follow you up for a minute. I'm doing Dallas a couple days ago. Oh, man. What, what part? West. Uh, I live with my wife, but I'm really in Uptown. Okay. Yeah. Anthony lives in Uptown. Yeah. Yeah, we, we're at the Crescent. You should come by oh, sometime. Yeah? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I didn't realize you guys were uh, yeah. sitting there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I work with Silicon Valley Bank up in Addison. Okay. Yeah, you guys, I've seen you guys, you guys some stuff. I think I found you originally on Reddit. Well, really? Someone posted it. I don't think people like us on Reddit. Really? Yeah, it's Reddit's fickle. Yeah, it seems like everybody goes to Reddit to like vent. How's everything going though? You guys doing some big sales? It's a perfect, see it was from Bravo, right when I saw y'all here, I was like, oh, that's one of those Yeah. What are y'all's thoughts on the uh, Bitcoin watches with the QR codes and everything that's associated? That's interesting. Yeah. But now they're doing it where you don't need a Bitcoin watch. Now you can do the FTP or whatever. What's it called? The, the F oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. So now, is that what it's called? FTPs? Or am I saying that wrong? NFTs or something. NFTs. Oh, are you talking about NFTs? NFTs. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm saying it wrong. Oh, so there's actually, are you talking about like it's just like a digital screen? Kind of looks like you're just an Apple watch or something? Or? I, I don't know. The guy was explaining it. It was like... You can sell the NFT to a physical item without, you know what I mean? Like you can sell it yep. and then it gets around like taxes or something. I don't no, know. That's true. Well, I know with the Bitcoin, the art gallery, there's like a number of kind of the duality of you know, the physical and the digital element. So it's an interesting way to do it. Yeah. You guys have one hell of a collection for sure. Yeah, that is delicious. Well, come by, man. Like I said, you know, you're welcome. No, I definitely is that a vintage or a modern one? It's modern. I grabbed it a couple years ago after my first first big sale at the first job. I was like, I got to own it. 
now of course I'm like I should have bought Bitcoin. But it is a fun one for sure. Like, I've been looking at a couple of the Rolexes and just trying to wait for the Don't I wait. The, I know that's the problem. It's on the up and up always. Yeah. Right? Constantly. They're always gonna go up with a little bit of a correction. Yep. But they go back up. So you just have to buy and don't worry about it. Yeah. Sooner well, the better. I'll definitely swing by. What was your name again? Marco. Marco Weston. Weston, good yeah, to meet I'll you. Come by, appreciate it. Love to have you by. Which one is your Rolex up there? Which one is up there? Um, right over here. Yeah. The middle one? Or yeah, that one right there, third one over. My brother just got one yesterday. So oh, really? Like, yeah. Are you guys a second hand or are these a brand new? Uh, these are, well, they're second hand, but they're new and used. So we got mixed. So like we're not primary market on watches. We're yeah. like great. What are the like gray market? How much is uh, Yacht Master? That one, yeah. seventeen thousand. Seventeen. And what is it brand new? Is, uh, it's like eighteen something. Eighteen one fifty. Close to prime market price, right? Some watches are the, yeah below. A lot of them are over market. A lot of them are over market because of their yeah their rarity. Stars, right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Supply demand. But it's very hard to get a prime. Uh, very, yeah, very. If you walk into any Rolex boutique, it'll be empty. Yeah, yeah. He's been looking. He's uh, finally got in touch with a New Yorker, a New York jewelry shop. That finally got. Oh wow! Yeah, I see it yeah. floating around. You see? Yeah, so that's like that. Yeah, it's like blinking. Oh, cool. Yeah, I mean, not cool, but yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like the uh, uh, hour hand came apart. Yeah. I mean, it's been around. Oh, it was a panther. It's a panther, yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's the one I want. Yeah. Uh, you guys don't have Cartier in the right system. Man, so we don't really carry a lot of Cartier. Yeah. I mean, we get them like, from time to time. They're good watches. We mostly get the uh, Santos. The Santos? Like the X XL, you know, like the bigger ones. Those are really popular. and. Uh, but those, yeah. I mean, yeah, those those are those aren't bad either. Those are pretty popular. Yeah, I like this one. I just started wearing. I felt weird wearing it. Like, yeah, you're really good. Oh, this one. I don't know if it's a small model, but I like that it's the white or like the. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that one's good. We could probably get them for. I mean, we can get them cheaper than retail. Oh, really? Yeah. Um. I think I'm out. Let me turn hold on. I may have some more. No, I'm out. I'm out, out. But if you just want to grab that brochure. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? Good, good. So, our, that's, that's my number. That's my business partner's okay. number. It's just kind of like... Are you guys based on my... Uh, Dallas. Oh, okay. I live in Tampa anyway. Tampa? Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. So, like, are you guys getting at less than retail because you're a watch store? Uh, because gray market. We, we pay gray market prices, so a lot of watches are over retail, but there's some that are under, like Cartier, we can get it under retail. So this one is like 67. Yeah, just send a screenshot to my number. Okay. And just say, hey, I met you at the booth, and I'm like, okay. And then I'll, you know, I'll try to find it for you. Pretty, pretty simple. Glad I yeah, you too. All right, so for you, it's the Hulk. We decided on that one? Yes. Okay, so it's been a second. It's taken me a minute to find one. The two options are you can prepay. We lock in a price. I can guarantee you I can get one at a certain price. And then just then the idea will be take a day or two. Let me find the best deal for one. But it's a guaranteed thing. That's better than trying to find one today because it's Saturday. Every dealer's in their shop. The prices I'm getting quoted right now are kind of stupid. So I think tomorrow, into the week, everyone's gonna be wanting to push inventory out. Stuff will get a little bit cheaper. Lock one in, uh, you prepay with Bitcoin now, it's paid for. I get it, Monday morning I ship it to you, you have it Tuesday morning. I say we lock it in. Let's do that, okay. And you were telling me about Bitcoin. Yeah, so I was, how, my, my thoughts were just like, I, I bought a watch with crypto before yeah. and I thought to myself like in the future that's what everything's gonna be like not just watches just everything where it's just like 
pay me in Bitcoin. Yeah. You don't pay me in crypto. So people here, how are you? So I want to understand this. So I didn't, we didn't accept Bitcoin before yesterday morning. And right. now I've already sold six watches for about 300 grand. So I've got 300 grand in Bitcoin and Ethereum and stuff. Yeah. But people have just been scanning my Coinbase. You can do it yeah. differently or, or easier. Because well, I'm having to wait like 30 have, minutes to confirm yeah, it. Yeah, the thoughts that I have is like, there's a company and I can maybe introduce you to as well, where if you can imagine this, the customer, which you're the customer, you're buying your, your all. You just literally QR code it, and the minute, and your your bank will be like your business bank would have this. It's already so it's up. connected. Obviously, your EIN number is like routing numbers for the yeah. business bank. You're just QR code the amount of money. It goes and converts it from Bitcoin right to USD, and it goes right into your business bank. Oh. So I don't have to worry about the worry volatility because that because right now what I'm doing I'm such a noob at this right now right yeah. now whenever the Bitcoin hits my thing I'm taking a screenshot of the Bitcoin price yeah, yeah. and I'm making a note and I'm just gonna hold the Bitcoin you're and you're like yeah. hey, hey, oh it's going down right now why would I want to take oh you have to do this point zero zero yeah. no it's just whatever the amount is yeah. you would send it QR code it and it's sending Bitcoin but it's also in, in the back end in the ether like we always ne you never think about this but like. How the heck do I send a text message and it goes into the world and it texts you? Right. Like the same thing that's going behind the scenes is like when I went to Europe, I didn't realize when I was using my Chase debit card that it was converting it from a Euro to USD behind the scenes. Yeah. And, it, and that, that's what's happening here is that the minute that you go and pay with Bitcoin, it's actually going, converting, and going to USD right into your business. So you're using the Lightning Network is what you're talking crazy. about, like right? Crazy, yeah. I mean, because that's what it is. It uses the Lightning Network on the Bitcoin. Okay. So I could send you cash from the US to England, and, wow. it, and it'll go right into your bank account, and it can be in the British pound. So that's the I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Bitcoin yeah. fan now, which is why I'm glad our boy told us to come, so. Yeah, you, you, you coming to this event was, was pivotal to the future of the world that we're gonna live in. Like, like, I just keep on thinking about Netflix disrupted, you know, Blockbuster. Blockbuster. You yeah. know, I never would have thought taxis would be a, a thing in the past. It took five years, now there's no taxi, just Uber and Lyft. What's going to happen, in my opinion, is that the future of finance, the way we conduct business, is going to be crypto. Sorry. And we're seeing right now, I just was like, I watched the mayor. They have watches, mayor. they have watches now. I watched the mayor speak about how they're trying to convert right now this whole city into Bitcoin and crypto. So if really? they're doing that, it means that to me, like I'm like, everything's going to be that. Yeah, Miami's wow. going to be the first city Everything. to do it, I think. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's why. That's why slowly. everybody here. So I haven't watched. I haven't gotten to go watch any of the speakers, but that's why everyone that walks by here, they're like, "These are cool," but I'm never selling Bitcoin. I'm like, yeah, "Come yeah. on, it's not that." Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Yeah. I can buy more tomorrow. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's, it's not that big of a deal. The biggest right. house ever too was sold last week uh, by Ryan and his team for 22 million in crypto. So I'm like, the future's here. Wow. You have beautiful watch pieces. Everybody wants these things, but they don't usually want to pay with their cash. They want to pay with their crypto. Okay, so because I don't have the watch in inventory, we're going to get you a hold. We're just going to lock it in. Right. 20, 21,000 plus for Maryland. Yeah. Maryland sells taxes. Congratulations on the new watch, man. Yeah. I see what that's awesome. The Hulk. So 22, 260 okay. is what you're looking at. And you're going to do it through, I guess, scanning the Coinbase thing? Yeah, so I have to go. So, what was the number? 22. 22, 260. Okay. These are good knocks. Do what? These are good knocks. <laughs> They're real. It's a damn good knockoff if it's not, yeah. Pardon me? I said it's a damn good fake if it were fake. Right. But it's real. There we go. So let's see. I would just put, I don't, I don't know what the note's for, but if you want to save it, just put Hulk, Rolex Hulk. I like how you just let me pick up a $5,000. What's that, about eight grand now? Uh, twelve five. This is, our, this is our, yeah. This is our business, though. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to get far. We're like a pretty, pretty tough guy. That's what security's for. Okay. So well, then you got to go to. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> they, they're they're over there watching. Oh man. So then you have to go to, like you have to authenticate. All okay. right. I'm done. No, you don't have to. I just did. It is kind of funny how many people here have walked up to the booth. I mean, I'm not even. I I lost count. It's been. Actually, ask me if these are real. I just. 
I know. I guess because it's unexpected to have a watch booth here. Because there's other, there's a bunch of other people that are like, "What are you doing here? What's your association with Bitcoin?" It's, I just want to learn about Bitcoin. So I brought my inventory with me. Yeah, but you're making a killing. So, right. It's been sent. So I think it. So it's been taking anywhere from like right. 10, 10 to to thirty minutes to show. But yeah, it'll give it ten. Yeah, so I just minutes. sent you point six one. Congratulations. I'll find the watch. Give me a give me a day or two. To, tonight and tomorrow's when the groups will be the most active. But by Monday I'll find you a watch. Okay. We'll lock it in. Actually, here, let me get you do I, do I need an invoice or I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get all this info right here. Yeah, I wanna see that uploaded. I wanna see that video. So it's either gonna be on Tuesday or Friday next week. I think we're gonna it's probably gonna be Friday because we're gonna start splitting our videos into two a week instead of one. Normally we post one every Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. I think this week because we've got so much content, we still got two more days of stuff. And his birthday tonight and tomorrow, we're gonna split it up. So it'll be on. I think it'll be Friday morning. Okay, at 10 cool. As soon as I find that, I will. Uh, I'll go ahead and send you an invoice. It just won't have a serial number on it. I won't. I won't be able to find right, a serial right, number yeah. until I find the watch. That but I've sense. got it in there. I've got the calls out. As soon as I now that it's paid for, as soon as I find a good deal, I'm just gonna lock it in. I'll try to find you the newest one I can in the best condition. So you, right. the, so you get the best warranty. Best one possible. Okay, cool. Cool. Did I give you one of my cards also? Yeah, I did. I got you did? it. Okay. Thanks. All right, man. I'm excited. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. And then I'll have it shipped to my, I'll find it by Monday. I'll have it shipped to me by Tuesday. And then I'll overhead it to you on Wednesday. Okay. So you'll, you should have it Wednesday morning, but Thursday at the latest. That sounds good. Cool. All right. Thanks, man. Awesome, you got a card? man. I appreciate it. Not a bad weekend so far. We didn't accept Bitcoin until now. Right, right, go, 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 go. You're with me. Come on. You go ahead. Going, um, everyone, go by right now. Eight hundred skate parks still. Um, well, one of my folks has. Yeah. 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 Miami proper right now, so um, I'm, I'm really that's the work I'm most proud of, and selfishly, it gives me more places to skate. So, all one for my birthday. Oh, yeah, cool. Whereabouts? Dallas. Okay, yeah, it's good. It's good for us. Present? Yeah, thank you, bro. I, I appreciate it. it. It's a pink bag. I know, that's what I said. <laughs> pull it up here. No, pull it up here so we can see it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now I got to stand up. Oh, now you got to strip. Now you got to strip. Oh my god, this whole wrap is Minnie Mouse. It's Minnie Mouse, dude. Pull it out. Hold on. Here, I'll hold the bag. Hold on, dude. <laughs> Rainbow. <laughs> and I wrapped it. See, I'm not useless. We it. <laughs> from, uh, from both of us. From his bosses. From his bosses. Hold on. What is this? He must a lot of money to do. Oh, you're his bosses? Yeah. <laughs> he does all of our videos. So you better like it, okay? He does all of our videos. <laughs> you like, like it. Say, oh, wow, this is the best. He shoots for people. He shoots for our YouTube channel. Isn't that cool? Is that really? What, what is this guy yeah. for you? Open it up. He's our YouTube. Uh, He's our videographer. Our videos. What this is you out? Hey, oh, very nice. nice. I am watching. Very nice. Very nice. Now, now I can tell it's you that. Incredible. Very nice. What? It was a return, dude. It was a return. Oh, like a, yeah. I can. Yeah. That, I, don't, I don't think that's what it is. We'll be in our house for breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> that's that's right here. Here. Is there a knife? It's, no, he's been talking about like protein shakes and blenders and stuff. 
Is this gonna fall out of this? I don't know, just open it carefully. Okay, so there's a cord. It is a nature bullet. It is a nature bullet. Well, thank you, bro. You've been talking about protein shakes. What is that? That's cool. I don't know. Why is it? Why is there something in it? What is that? But oh, wait, there's more. Oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> you have a great crowd tonight. <laughs> Cheer for this crowd. Oh, <laughs> is that the nasty shit? Oh, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? That's gotta be a roll. I don't know. It's a. Wow. Hey, Camera. Oh my god, that's cool. Yeah. Because I was thinking the Nutribullet, that's not that wow. big of a deal. Yeah. That's cool. Wow. Wow. Show the camera. Show the camera. Wow, wow dude. <laughs> Thank you so much. Show dude. The camera. That is freaking awesome, bro. You gotta be kidding me. No, nope. you love it. You, you got to be kidding me, bro. <laughs> That's unreal. I'm shaking. <laughs> I know, I like when it cry. <laughs> That's unreal, bro. Did you like the wrapping, though? I did that myself. Yeah. yeah. Job. It was so pretty, uh, and I'm honestly really excited about the new <laughs> Like this thing, like I already loved it, but now I just mean so much more, bro. Like, thank you, man. You're welcome. That's amazing. Happy birthday. Thank you, bro. How are you? Hey, morning. How are you? Good morning. Okay. Not bad. Good morning. All right. We just got back from Miami like an hour ago. I need to go over all the cells. Do you have your spreadsheet in front of you? I do. I've transferred some of these over there, but just to start down the list, we sold a flat four Kermit for 25000 The Longue... Uh, Line so item number 11. Payment yeah. type is Bitcoin, right? Well, payment type, that where you're at right now, that's how we bought oh, sorry, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me look right here. Okay. There we go. And that one sold for 35000 We've got a Hulk, which I believe was the 2018 Hulk. That one sold for 20000 The 126710 Pepsi on Oyster sold for 25000 Wow, really? Yeah. Well, it's the first one. It's like one of the first ones in the country. So the uh, Panda Daytona sold for. Let's see, where's is, that at? Is that official? Does the guy have the watch? Is he happy with it? Yes. All these ones that I'm gonna mark, they they took the watches there on the spot and they paid us with Bitcoin. The next one is the GMT Master Two Black Dial. That one sold for twelve thousand five hundred. Oh, I've got another pre-sold order. I'm gonna go ahead and enter it in. I've got another pre-sold order for a Hulk. I just ha I just now found the Hulk today. Hey, you found a Hulk, right, Alfred? Yes. You found a Hulk. Okay. What's the deal with the RM deal and the BAP fifteen five hundred? Okay. Okay. So the RM deal, we had a guy come in. Alfred reached out or got in touch with him, and he was in Miami. He came and brought the watch to us, showed it to us. We made an offer, and then we immediately sold it to Neil at Timepiece Trading. So, okay. so that's not your RM. That's a separate RM. It's it's gonna go through our system, yes. It's going into our books. We we technically bought the watch and then we sold it to him for our records, but there's not gonna be any money exchanged on our end. He's taking the watch so, directly to them in Miami and they're paying him for it. Does anybody have the specs of the watch so I can I can it? I can get those once he drops the watch off. All the other ones were paid through Bitcoin uh, into my Coinbase, so I need copies of those invoices, and we charged them. I believe we charged every one of them Miami sales tax. I, I sold it all though last night. So we bought all the Bitcoin between 36 and 37,000. I sold it last night at 37,000. 
Let me see. So I actually sold it overall. I'll, I've got the numbers written down. So here's the thing. So on Coinbase, you you pay a big fee. Coinbase Pro, there's no fee. Like the fees are very, very minimal. So we paid about 20, for me to cash all that out, we paid about 2,500 in fees. But I sold all of the Bitcoin collectively at a price that would have been $2,580 in profit on top of the watches. So we basically Excellent. broke even. So we broke even. It's like plus $80 after the sell and sales tax to all of these different locations. But I've got, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna text you a picture of all this info that I've got written down. I've got names, phones, addresses. So I need you to invoice all these people. And lastly on taxes, uh, Minerva's working on our 2020 return. Already. Okay, and uh, whatever that guy comes back and says, I mean, politely tell him I don't know, politely tell them to F off because it's been six months. We've been trying to get our, our taxes done and you have to chase him down. He doesn't respond to my text. He doesn't respond to your text. Doesn't respond to my phone calls, your phone calls. We're not paying this guy anything. So yeah, no, I'm in agreement. He hasn't come to me yet for anything. So, okay. you know, I think it was clear. In Did I tell you what his response was? I said, do I need to find someone else to get this done? Because it's been six said, months. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, that'd be a good idea. Yeah, I saw it. He sent me a, a, a picture of the text. It's ridiculous. This is what I'm telling you. This is what I've been dealing with for, for six months. Okay, how fast can... Do you have you have all the stuff that we sent him, right? I have everything. I found everything. I have everything. I okay. consolidated it all and sent it to Minerva. I speak with her a little bit later today to just get an idea of what the time frame is going to be. But I'm going to be very, you know, explicit with her that I just need her to be very clear along the way, you know, how progress is going and how much longer it's going to take, and what she needs from us further. And I told her we'll probably have to have a couple of phone calls together. Just yeah, to if we need to get on a call stuff. today, if I need to be, can I be on that call when y'all do it? Because this yeah. is, we need to get this done. I don't want to wait until the uh, end I'll do of the year. Right. Uh, I'll get you. Okay. I'll make sure you're available. Yeah, no problem. Okay, thank you. Uh, the last thing is the transaction. So, yes. Like 100K left I, our, our account. Okay. Yes, I wired him 100,000 yesterday. I'm wiring him 63,500 today, and that'll complete. Now, that AP that we bought. We sold to Neil at Timepiece Trading. We've got a bag at Daytona coming as well. I'm going to send him a label today after I wire him. Okay, cool. And you have one pending wire in your email from me from yesterday that needs to go out um, to a very patient individual. Who, uh, okay. For a week. Okay. Uh, so if you can get that done, please. I appreciate it. Okay. All right. uh, I'll get in touch with Nerva and I'll let you know when she's available. We'll, we'll speak with her. All right. All right. Thanks. All right. Bye. All right, guys, it is the end of week 22 and part two of this. As you notice, we did a two part series. We had so much content in just that weekend alone that it was impossible to put all of it in one video. So we split it up. And so far, you guys seem to really appreciate having a video on Tuesday. And after this video post, we'll know if you appreciate having it on Friday. But I think you will uh, going forward. This is probably going to be a new thing for us. We're starting to get so much content now that it and it's the time frames of trying to get everything edited and uploaded and condensed down into one video. We're leaving a lot of stuff out and we're in too big of a time crunch. So look forward to every week on Tuesday and Friday mornings at 9 or 10 a.m. We'll be posting these videos. So guys, let's jump straight into the numbers. If you're following along with this, you know that every week we have a sales goal. This quarter, our sales goal is $538,462, Monday through Friday, to keep us on track to do $35 million by the end of this year. This week, we fell short of that goal a little bit. Uh, we came in at $505,150, about 7% shy of the weekly goal, but it was expected. We didn't have any inventory here in Dallas for our sales guys to utilize and to sell. We had everything in Miami at the Bitcoin conference, as you guys saw. And honestly, going to that conference, we didn't expect to sell anything. It was more for the brand recognition, getting the name out there. So we fell a little bit short, but it's not a big deal. We did really well last week. Of that 500,000, we did 19 watches, 17 of which went to retail customers, only two went to wholesale, and those were actually two sales of watches we bought at the conference. So it worked out really well. Yeah. Uh, of the sales, I know I told you guys last time we were gonna do away with profits, but it seemed like y'all wanted to hear that. So 
we did $52,557.50 in profit. Now that closes us out with the numbers. At the end of this month, I'm gonna give you all an up-to-date tally of where we stand. I'm gonna start doing that at the end of every month, doing an up-to-date running tally so you can see where we're at and how much more we have to go. Now, jumping into some normal announcements. Guys, I just wanna address something. I've been reading the comments, Anthony's been reading the comments, we've been studying what brought you guys to the channel in the first place, and I just wanna say I highly appreciate you guys giving us your feedback and letting us know how you guys really feel. That helps us a lot to really develop our channel into bigger and better things. So, going back to where we started, we'll be showing you guys more deals, more watch talk. Guys, you wanna see more of me, I'm gonna be happy to share you guys my knowledge on vintage watches, modern watches. I'm gonna start branching out and start talking about Maybe some RMs, maybe some paddocks, and we'll really make it fun again. So I really appreciate the feedback. Anthony really appreciates the feedback. And Anthony- You've actually got a, uh, a story video coming. Oh, right. talked with our editor. And That's it's a very good be, point. It's gonna be posting as of today. It's Friday. Well, It'll it's be Thursday of this. It'll be a week from this video. So next Thursday, guys, tune in. We're gonna be posting Marco's story. It's been filmed, it's been shot. Uh, it's in the editing process right now with our new editor and it will be ready shortly, so stay tuned for that. And the next announcement, um, we unfortunately let go my good friend Clove. It just wasn't working out, creative differences, but she's a very good person. I want you guys to understand, we read the comments regarding how you guys felt, and we just felt like we made a premature move. Um, well, it's to go back to it, uh, take out the person. It was the subject. When there, yeah. was, when, when there was no female presence on there, people were begging for a female. We jumped in, we hired a female, we got her on there. Um, where we made a mistake, we didn't choose someone that was already, I think we made a mistake by throwing someone on camera too soon. Uh, we yeah. did not choose a female that was already ingrained in the watch business or had extensive prior watch right, knowledge. Right. From the comments you know, that we got before, it just sounded like we needed to add a female to the mix. We tried it out, guys, that's how we've built this business. We, we, I want y'all to remember, We've built this business by trial and error. Unfortunately for the video, we haven't put a lot of the errors out there. We put the trials that work because nobody wants to show the fails. Right. But we try things, they work, they keep them. We try things and they don't work, we make adjustments. As you guys can see from this video and from Tuesday's part one, we are very quick to make adjustments, especially when we can see something that is going to hinder the growth of our channel. It's going to upset people and you guys clearly made you made it a point to let us know that that was not what you wanted to see as well as the excessive lifestyle the excessive spending so we're going to cut up we're going to cut back on all that um we're going to give you guys what we gave you in the beginning the you know the original substance of this yeah. channel the deals the customer interactions we're going to get the team more involved um i do want to mention something about that so i read some comments talking about we shouldn't have this girl in here we should have dylan and everyone else going on these trips i do want to make it clear that dylan was not hired to travel dylan and sutton who's sitting right over there and alfred and vic they they weren't hired to travel and be on camera they were hired to run this business when we're gone right. which is exactly what they want to do which is exactly what they do and because they're back in the store running this place while Marco and I are both gone, that's why we're able to hit these numbers when there's some weeks where I don't even sell a single watch. But we, weeks we I don't did, sell a watch. There was two weeks ago, we did like 800,000 in sales. I didn't sell a single watch. Right. I, 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 buy, I do buy a lot. Yeah. I send a lot of leads to our sales team because I can't, you know, we can't do it when yeah, we're we on the road, when we're it. on airplanes. Yeah. So I did, I wanted to make that clear. It's not that we are just genuinely are that we're purposely not putting them on camera because we want someone else to get uh, all the attention or because we don't, I forget the word, but it's like, what's the ranking? Like we don't, it's, it's not that we don't prioritize position. them. That's just not their job. It's right. Their job their not position, to be on camera. Their position is to be here focusing on right. sales, focusing on selling watches, which we gave everybody the week off when we were in Miami anyways, right. because we had nothing for them to sell because it was all with us. Right. Anyway, so. Well, that's all that, guys. Uh, I, let us know what you think of this video. Let us know what you think of the two-part series because that is gonna be a new thing for us. Uh, the last thing I wanna talk about and one of still one of the most controversial is the $2 million raise. I wanna reword this. 
It is no longer a fundraiser. We are no longer asking for donations. We are selling spots well, to a VIP we membership. We never were asking for donations. You got to remember that. We were asking the way we worded it. It sounded was like it that. okay? Yeah. Well, so I, I worded it wrong. No big deal. But okay. you're going to get a receipt. It is a membership. What that membership entails is, you know, the biggest perk you're going to get from that is buying watches that we would normally wholesale out to free up cash for other deals. So far, we've sold four watches to date. Of the, the four watches that I've listed, we sold a brand new black Daytona for 30,000. So retail price, we got about a two to $3,000 discount on a black Daytona. The Blue Sky Dweller, we were selling them retail for 30,000 to 31. We sold it in our group for 28,000. The brand new Kermit or Starbucks, whatever you want to call it. Right now, market is 18.5 to 19.5. I've even we've even sold them as high as 20,500. It caused fights over that one. That was such a good deal. Right. 16.5 for a new Starbucks, guys. Yeah. Come on. A 2019 uh, 40 millimeter date ceramic sub in like new condition. We sold for 11 grand. So guys, that is the biggest perk of being in that membership group. There are lots of other little things, but the one that we feel is the most prominent is this group is now going to become our wholesale outlet versus all the other wholesale groups we used to sell watches in. So uh, I'm going to post some pictures of those sales. I'm still going to send out some email blasts. Guys, if you're on board with it and you like it, cool. If you're not, that's cool too. We don't expect everyone to be a part of it. We don't expect everyone to understand it. But that's what it is. I don't know. I don't really know what else to say to it. Uh, <laughs> it listen, guys, it's a very fair group. I think we're trying to be very fair in raising this and we reach our goals. And the idea here is you come into this group, we will give you deals. If you think about it this way, you, you invest two grand, you'll make two grand if you're active. In on trading. the first deal, yeah. yeah on the, I yeah. mean, again, if you were the guy who bought the Starbucks at 16.5, understand yeah. you invested two grand to get in. Now your watch is worth 19, 19 five. You could actually make a the profit on that. The other thing I want to clear up about that is, guys, we could get we could do away with this group. We never needed this group. We could fund this thing ourselves. We could sell our personal watch collections. We could sell off inventory. We could raise money from an from one of the many investors looking to throw money at it. We could give them some equity. There's a million different ways we could get the money to build this building, but none of them are as significant as offering a service to our clients and then getting our clients to fill more a part of the business. When you invest $2,000 into something, you become part of that business. So guess what? When we sell all thousand of these spots, we have a thousand people that are now diehard active, uh, advocates for our brand and for our business. And that's the smartest way to build a new store, I think. I, I so. actually very, very much agree with that because it's more meaningful to our company. Right. You guys out there help build our dream. And that helps a lot. And you know, we're always going to give back to you guys as much as we can. And like we already said, we don't do things the traditional way. No. So taking out a loan to build this building, selling our watch collections. I, I started this business I so I can afford you. to build a watch collection. I can't tell you how many people got into vintage watches simply because I showed them my vintage watches. Right. And how many people got right. into modern watches because Anthony showed them and educated on his stuff. This is, so we really use our private collection as a tool to sell more so don't look at it like we're just hoarding money out of the business and right. putting it in a dark closet somewhere never to be seen we bring these things everywhere with us we show people and we get people to love what we love and and it just works out great for us i did say personal collection a lot i do want to clear this up too yes in the video in the last video i don't remember how many times i said it in this one but in tuesday's video I did say this is my personal watch collection a lot of times, and apparently I'm flexing on every, it just seems like I'm flexing on every single person that walks up. The first thing I, I go do is like look at my watch collection. That is not the case, guys. I can't tell you how many times a day, you know, I have my collection set out on display because there's pieces in there that we don't have in inventory for sale, but people want to see them. So at least a hundred times a day, people ask me how much for this, how much for this, how much for this? And I say, it's not for sale. And of course they always want to know why it's not for sale. For some reason, we don't ever get that on video. I don't know how That's weird, all we yeah. get on video is me pulling it out and saying, this is my personal watch collection. So guys, you know, I'm not flexing on everyone. I'm just, I'm using that to say these are not for sale and this is why, but this is why I bring them is so that people could see, you know, the MVNF, the Vacheron, the RM, the Paddock 5905, the stuff that you don't keep in, the stuff that we can't keep in inventory. Right. I have it, I keep it here, I take it with us when we go, so we can show it to people that have never seen them all in one place, so.
I did, I did want to point that out because I was dropping those comments. Well, we so definitely have both of, be mm -hmm. um, sorry, excuse me. We, we have best of both worlds to show you guys. It works out real good because yeah. I'm modern, you're vintage. Right. Our collections together gives I'm people something building. to really, really look at. And it's funny because so. you know, I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, I'll never build a modern collection to, to keep you going. And you'll right. never build a vintage collection to keep me going. So it's like we'll never clash that way, which is cool. Except that spider doll. Eh, you chill. I don't want that. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the changes we make. Again, like Marco said, thank you for dropping those comments. We all, the whole team reads everything. Whether we comment or not, we read everything. We listen to your feedback and we appreciate it. We're going to keep growing. We're going to keep evolving. We're going to keep doing what it is you guys love to see. So if you are following along on the weekly series, we just finished off week 22 of a 52 week series. We've got 30 more weeks to go guys. And we are still, there's still a lot of year left in this, uh, in this year. There's a lot um, of year, there's a lot of days whatever, left it's, in I've the been, year. It's okay. It's, Have it's you had your coffee? Day? I had six cups already. Right. Um, guys, if you like this button, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell. Right here. 